Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the numeric stepper component in Flash. So to get us started I'm going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to grab my text tool and for today's tutorial I'm just going to say how many pets do you have? And we're going to be answering that question by using the numeric stepper. So we're going to position this towards the top middle here. Then I'm going to create two more or three more text boxes, and the first one is going to be called dogs, next one is going to be cats, and the last one is going to be fish. And I'm just going to get those into a relative uh, spacing here, and then I'm going to select them all, go to window, then align, and I'm going to set them all to the left, and then I'm going to distribute the centers vertically. So now they all should be the same spacing apart from each other. So I'm just going to size, the, or I'm just going to put those up underneath the uh, question there. And then I'm going to grab um, the components by going to Window, then Components, and I'm going to drag out three numeric steppers. So I'm just going to drag those out. And then while um, before I align them, I'm going to take and give them each an instance name by going to the Properties. I'm just going to call the first one Dogs, second one Cats, and the third one I'm going to call it Fish. Okay, so now we have that done, I'm just going to use my guides to uh, align those to the text. Okay, and the last one. And I'm just going to select all those and bump them up a little bit so that they're more towards the middle of the text. So now that I have that done, we need one more text box, and that's going to be at the very bottom. And we're going to just drag it out, and that's going to show, um, it's going to render out basically what we've selected in each of those numeric steppers so that we can see how many of each we have. So for this text box, it's a dynamic text box, and we need to uh, give it an instance name, and I'm gonna call it pet info. Okay, so now that we have that done, I think we're ready to start uh, adding some action scripts. So I'm going to open up the actions panel. I need to select the first frame, then open up the actions panel. And the first thing we need to do is set the pet info, which is right here. We need to set that um, to the default, which is going to be zero dogs, zero cats, and zero fish. And so we need to set that before you actually start using the numeric stepper, that's what you see. So we'll just do that by doing pet info dot text, space equals space, then a couple quotes and a semicolon. And inside of here, we're going to say you own, and then we need a line break, so it's going to be a backslash n, and then a space, and then dogs colon zero, then another backslash n cats colon zero, another backslash n, space fish colon zero, and then a, another backslash n. And now that should be our default. So if I do control test movie, we should see it says you own zero dogs, cats, and fish. So that's our, our default setting basically. But as you see right here on the numeric stepper, the default for it is to start at one. And down here it shows zero. So we need to set each of these to initially be zero. So the way we're going to do that is by going to, we're just going to say dogs, which is the numeric stepper uh, instance name, dot value, space equals space, and then just zero semicolon. And then we'll just copy that, paste it two more times, and then we'll do it for cats and fish. So now those steppers should start on zero. If I do control test movie, you'll see they start on zero. All right, so the next thing we need to do is create an event listener um, to basically determine when we actually click this and when something's changing. So we're going to start with dogs. So we're gonna say dogs dot add event listener, and then open parenthesis event with a capital E dot change in all caps, comma, and then I'm just gonna say stepper change because um, that's what's happening. We're changing the number on the stepper. So this is going to be the same function for each of these so that whenever any of these are changed, it updates the text field. So I'm going to paste it twice, and then we need to say cats and fish for those. So now we need to actually write the function stepper change. So I'm going to hit enter a couple times, say function stepper change, change, okay, space open parenthesis event, colon, event with a capital E, close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, then up arrow key, 
And inside of here, we need to first basically reset the pet info. So we need to start by saying pet info dot text and then space equals space and a couple quotes and a semicolon and then inside we're just going to say you own and then a backslash n. So it's going to start with that and then we're going to add on to that um, depending on what the number of dogs, cats, and fish are. So we're going to hit enter and then we're going to append to that text. So we're going to say pet info pet info dot text actually dot append text and the T on append text is capital and then a space open parenthesis quotes and then we're going to say dogs colon and then a space and then close quotes plus and then we need to put the value and while I think about it um, I have a space here so I should probably put a space in for each of these it's just to keep it consistent. So now we need the actual value of dogs from the numeric stepper. So we're going to get that very simply by saying dogs dot value. And then lastly, we're going to need another line break so that we can add in the cats and fish underneath. So we need a plus and then quotes. And then inside the quotes, we want a backslash n. And then at the very end, close it with, oops, on the right line, sorry. Uh, we're going to close it with a parenthesis and a semicolon. So I'm going to just copy this. And we should be able to paste this for the other two. So instead of having dogs, we want cats. And we want it to be cats.value. And then for this one, we want it to be fish. If I could select it. Fish. And then we want it to be fish.value. All right, so now I think we're ready to test it out. So we're going to do control test movie. Okay, everything seems to be going okay. We don't have any errors. So when I click this, you'll see as I increment that up, dogs goes up, cats goes up, fish goes up, and they go down as well, and it's updating perfectly. You can put in five and hit enter, and it works also if you wanted to type in a value. Um, but one thing that I need to uh, explain is, as you see, um, if you hold up, these are maxed out at 10, because that's what the maximum is set to as a default. So let's say that we probably won't have more than 10 of dogs and cats, but maybe we have a, a large fish tank and we wanted to add in some extra fish. So we'll say dogs dot maximum and then space equals space. And then let's say we want, actually we wanted it to be fish dot maximum so that we can uh, have the maximum fish be up to 100. So we're going to say control test movie. And now you'll see that fish can go way past the 10 all the way up to 100, and you can just set the maximum by doing that if you need to. Um, so I hope you guys learned something about the new Max Tepper in this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you tomorrow with another component. Thanks.